Hello, my name is Angel. Today I'm going to show you what's included in the kit HS4000 Pro. This is the kit which is suitable for engines, petrol and diesel engines, which uh, have engine displacement between 2.5 liter and 5 liter. So the first and most important thing in our kit this is the dry cell. This is our HS4000 dry cell, which has 13 plates, stainless steel plates with titanium, some uh, percentage included in this stainless steel by specifications of the manufacturer of that steel. So we have 13 plates, uh, one positive, two negative connectors and in between they have on each side five neutral plates. Why we have neutral plates? Because we have 12, 12 volts, so we have two volts in each space between all these plates and everywhere is two volts. So this uh, dry cell has uh, measures, let me show you. 190 millimeters by 190 millimeters, which is exactly 7.5 inch by 7.5 inch. And the depth is with connectors and bolts is 125, 130 millimeters or five inch. So take this uh, in consideration when you're measuring about space in your vehicle because especially under the hood it's kind of complicated to find the space to mount this dry cell uh, besides that the dry cell must be on a lower level than the next important element this is the reservoir so this is the dry cell uh, what else I can say about this dry cell that it has uh, our own mate uh, gaskets uh, which are made in a, by our own recipe because we needed a certain parameters of these gaskets not just a regular EPDM rubber we needed uh, EPDM rubber but another uh, additional components in this rubber that's why we had different uh, materials and components into this rubber so it's a uh, kind of custom made for our needs because of uh, temperature because of uh, hardness uh, shore that we need with exact uh, number of shore the hardness of the material uh, temperature resistance uh, what else chemically chemical resistance uh, as well in this dry cell we have five millimeters between each two plates why we need five millimeters because this way we have more liquid inside to circulate inside the generator, which heats up a little slower than normal uh, dry cell, which has one or two millimeter between two plates. This is very, very important, especially if you need to use a higher density of the electrolyte. This is important as well. Why it's important to use higher density of electrolyte? Because this prevents freezing. Please do not use the advice to use isopropanol, isopropyl alcohol inside the, the electrolyte because they will never mix. Nobody showing this in the videos. I will show you in the next video how the bases and alcohol, they never mix and they do not prevent freezing because they are not mixing actually. Anyway, this is another topic that I will speak in the next video. Uh, so the next important element in, in the HS4000 system, this is the reservoir made by us because we need it custom made with uh, special sizes so it will be easier to fit everywhere in each vehicle. You can find space because it's flatter actually. So all of the uh, connectors, again, we're using these pushing fittings like on the dry cell as well. Uh, these pushing fittings are made in Europe. Uh, they are not made in China or made in anywhere else, or North Korea or South Korea, it doesn't matter. 
and they do not leak we have tested this because i've seen some comments in youtube that these kind of connectors they leak they leak if you're using using chinese that's why they leak if you're using made in europe they are secured in totally 100 percent so there will be never leak if you push the the hose uh, uh, absolutely to the end of the fitting so the other thing is on this uh, uh, reservoir we are making our own cups because we needed to use uh, silicone gaskets with special designs so there will be no leakage of gas very important and uh, in a matter of safety of course because if there is a leak of gas it's a possibility of uh, ignition of this because of the heat around the engine and so on so very important to have a strong and reliable cup on that reservoir we have also stainless steel floating switch, which is important in our system because it's turning off and on our dynamic PWM. You can see what's inside. On each connector, we have also additional nuts inside, so you cannot remove them just like this, or they cannot just unplug just like this, or something uh, happens suddenly. Uh, very reliable device. Also, we test it on 80 degrees liquid because sometimes your system can get heat up to 80 degrees because of the uh, heat produced by the engine because those elements, they will be installed near the engine. And also, we pressurize it up to 2.5 bars and it's sustainable. It didn't explode that uh, reservoir. <laughs> Usually, we are testing when we can explode something. <laughs> Very interesting. Don't do that at home, of course. Uh, so we just wanted to produce something which is reliable and each element is important in our system. So next important element, this is the bubbler. Actually, this is the bubbler. <laughs> so bubbler has two functions, collecting the rough steam of the system in case you are driving longer distances and uh, or you're using higher amps because both ways they will produce heat and the other function is that it uh, prevents uh, anti-backfire or uh, or it acts actually as a spark arrester The next important thing that we need in the system, this is the hose. We are using a special hose, which is suitable for inland motor vehicles. This is a polyamide 12 as a standard. This is very, very important thing. And especially this hose, it fits exactly in these push-in fittings on all of the items in our system. This is very, very important. We are not using such a hose, it's like a garden hose. I'm sure that you've never seen in a vehicle such a garden hose used by the manufacturers installed in the vehicle. It's impossible because this is not suitable for vehicles. Well, that's why we are using this. And in each kit we have 4 meters of this, which is absolutely enough. 4 or 5 meters, actually this is 5 meters. Which is absolutely enough for the installation in the vehicle of the system. I can show you exactly how this we can plug it in the pushing fittings. That's why it's called pushing because you just have to plug it and that's it. I can even hold this six kilogram of dry cell on the pushing fitting. And it will never leak. I'm sharing again this information that these fittings are made in Europe, not made in China or anywhere else. So to remove it, I just have to pull back this ring and I can take it out. Very easy to plug it, it's movable, as I said, 360 degrees, so you can use it any way, or this way, or this way, this way, this way. Because in, in vehicles, we are very limited in a matter of space, so this is very important to be movable, so it's easy for the installation after that, of course. Hose, this is one of the most important things to prevent leaks and it should be quality. It's not just a hose, like this one, for example, garden hose. So next important element, this is wires, six square millimeters for the positive and negative. 
and another four wires by one square millimeter of section of the wire. Two of them are for supplying the dynamic PWM with power and so on. And two of them for the LED indicator, which must be installed inside the vehicle near the dashboard to indicate if the system operates or does not operate. Next item, which is important, a fuse. We are using 30 amp automatic fuse. Even our system does not reach 30 amp because we measured on vehicles we don't need 30 amp. It's loading too much the charging system, which becomes a problem. That's why we are limiting our system at 16 amperes, and this is varying between 5 and 16 amps. It's not stable. I mean, it's not constant. Other things that we have in the system, and we need it for the system, this is all of these items connectors, electrical insulators, connectors, LED indicator, gas inlet connector, very important. Make an 8 millimeter hole and just plug it. Nothing should be inside as a nuts or anything else because it's dangerous if it goes inside the air intake or if it goes to the turbo, of course, it will damage it. So this is three-way pushing fitting because we need also to uh, drain the system regularly, sometimes. And this is the valve also with pushing fittings, reliable. It's not leaking. We tested many, many times. Holders for the dry cells. In each kit, we are providing all of these elements. This is small things, but they are very important and you don't have to go to the next uh, hardware store looking for these uh, items because uh, we include them in the kit as well. So uh, another important item in any HHO system, this is the control device of the system because what you're seeing until now, this is the basic kit. You can see in it all, all of these uh, uh, models that we have in the first category of uh, car and van kits in our uh, web shop. So the next uh, category of devices, this is the uh, same kit, but with constant current PWM. This is a constant current. So you release some amps via the knob. This knob is turning on and off the system. You release it and uh, you can watch how many amps you have if you if you add to the system uh, amp meter, volt meter, all of these extras if you need to see it. So we do not include it in the basic kit just because we are using our dynamic PWM. This is our control device. It works absolutely automatically. Everything is written in the software. And you don't have to touch anything after installation because this is the device which is controlling everything totally automatic. Uh, in the next video, I will explain you how this is working, why we design it to work this way, how does it work, all of these questions. If you have any other questions, please comment below the video. So I will try to reply with video. Each of your questions will be replied with video. So we will have more communication and more information in our YouTube channel. Uh, so the basic kit is what you see, plus all of these, these connectors, wires, of course, all of these things, what you need, holes, all of this is very important and uh, we selected and tested all of these items by us. We have installed cars since 2010, maybe. Yeah, it was 2009, 2010, so we had problems. Don't think that we had not problems. We had a lot of problems. That's why we improve, improve, improve all the time. And that's why we designed to use dynamic PWM in our systems, because this is fully automated device and you don't have to touch anything. You just have to connect it properly. In the next video, I will show you more information about this device, how does it work and so on. Please don't forget to like our video, if you really like it, of course. Uh, share it if you really like it and you can comment below if you have some questions or recommendations, anything. You can like us, you can hate us, whatever you prefer. So we are going further on that journey and nothing will stop us. So. 
we are going to improve more and more about uh, these systems and uh, you will see in the future a lot of interesting videos about such a systems. Thank you very much for your time and for uh, watching our video till the end. This is very important because this is not just something that must be grabbing you in the first three, three seconds or something like that. Just uh, we will try to provide more and more information which is interesting and regarding all of this. Thank you.